Okay, so welcome back. And now we're going to talk about area of a triangle. So here's the formula for the area of a triangle. One half base times height. So B is the base, H is used for height, so it's one half base times height. Now, if we take a triangle, we have to, first of all, figure out what the base is and what the height is. Okay, now, any one of the sides of the triangle could be the base. Now, typically, if it's oriented this way, this would be the base. But it also depends on if, where the line is that represents the height. So if they give us the height, we'll know what the base is because the height is always drawn perpendicular to the, to the base, okay? So, for example, if this is going to be the base, so let's say this is the base here, then we would need to draw a perpendicular line from the vertex opposite the base to the base. So in this situation, we would have to extend the base in a manner of speaking. We would have to extend it out this way. And then we would draw a perpendicular line down to the base. And so this perpendicular here would be the height, okay? This is also called the altitude of the triangle, okay? So the height is, would be this. So this would be the height, this would be the base. Now, what if I choose a different side? Okay, what if What if that's the base? Then the height of the triangle would be the altitude from the opposite vertex and so this would be the height right? And then finally, we have a third side. So what if that side is the base? So if this is the side, if this is the um, base, <clears throat> then again, we're going to want to draw a, an altitude, a perpendicular from this vertex to the um, to the base. So again, we would extend the base and draw a perpendicular to it. Just like so. Okay? So again, um, any one of those would give us the exact same area, by the way. Okay? It just depends on what they give us in the problem. Okay? And so we'll do a couple of examples next time.